The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus had risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. She went and told his companions who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them walking along their way to the country. They returned and told the others, but they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. The gospel of the Lord. And so it's good to be with y'all this morning. Happy Easter. It's not just a day, it's a season. And so it's great to be here with y'all this morning, uh, despite the, the dreariness, the nastiness of the weather outside, as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, this gospel today is a beautiful gospel. And as I was praying with this gospel, one of the things uh, that really struck me is this past week, the, the readings have been absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite gospel readings of the entire um, of the entire Easter season is the road to Emmaus. And so um, I had the opportunity while I was on retreat up in Alabama, uh, the northern part of Alabama, to celebrate mass with some seminarians who, uh, they had a group of seminarians that were at the shrine of the um, Mother Angelica's shrine where her nuns are. And it was really kind of an awesome mass to go and celebrate with God willing some future priests of the church. And so as we're celebrating Mass there, I was sharing with the guys about, you know, Jesus, the, the, the disciples, the followers of Jesus, they recognized that it was him when, when he broke the bread. You know, and it was Mary in our gospel today. She recognizes Jesus when, when he says her name, when he says Mary, she recognizes that it is him. And what's her response? Rabboni, Rabbi, teacher, it's you. And so the believers who were traveling on that road to Emmaus and Mary Magdalene, when Jesus speaks to them, when Jesus breaks the bread, they recognize that it's him. And what do they do? They go back and they tell the disciples, guess who we've seen? But the disciples are not so quick to believe. And that's where we're at in the gospel today, because at the very end of the gospel, Jesus goes to them and he is, he rebukes them for their hardness of heart. And so it's easy for us, even in our own walk with the Lord, to get a hardness of heart. And so in this Easter season, we pray that we may not have that hardness of heart in seeing how the Lord moves and seeing how the Lord works. And you know, our first reading today, which is from the Acts of the Apostles, uh, one of the things that really stands out to me in this reading is that they thought the, the Jews, the Sanhedrin, the elders, they thought the Jesus problem was done. They thought it was fixed. But guess what? It wasn't. And so today, it's one of these moments where John and, and Peter are just, they're being kind of rebuked by the Sanhedrin. And what happens? They're being told, you need to keep quiet. But what, what happens is they're saying, we can't, we can't keep quiet. We can't not share this good news. We have to share this good news. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare to receive Jesus today, we have to remember, we too have to share that good news. 
We have to share that good news. We have to share that good news with those who we encounter, whether it be at Frugal's, whether it be in the doctor's office, wherever it may be, we have to share the good news of Jesus Christ and how he has worked in our lives. And this is the great Easter season, the great season in which we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. And so in that same spirit, as we prepare to receive Jesus this morning, we ask him, Lord, give us the grace to boldly go forth and to share how you have worked in our lives, to share how you are working in our lives, Lord. We recognize that we can so easily fall into that pit of despair, that pit of unbelief that we hear about in the gospel. But Lord, we ask that you help to continue to feed us in our faith so that we may grow each and every day. Lord Jesus, today we continue the celebration of your resurrection. We thank you for allowing us to receive you, your body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist this morning. Happy Easter.